Hey everybody, Isaac Wilkins, BeyondTheBarbell.com and Relentless Strength Training here. And this morning in the, my morning group, we were having a uh, little discussion about kind of pre-workout nutrition for training that early. And one of the guys in the group wants to take his training to another level, and he's already trains a pretty high level, to be honest. But so that morning he had had five or six ounces of orange juice, and he wanted to know if that was the right thing to have before he came in to train that early. And the answer is really that it's not ideal. And let me tell you why. First of all, you've got to look at what state your body is in uh, at that point. And basically, you've been sleeping all night. Unless you had a huge meal the night before, you've pretty well got your stomach contents cleared out. And so your blood sugar is going to be pretty low. And your body's going to be kind of at a steady state, pretty much using fatty acids for energy. Your liver is going to be pretty well depleted of glycogen. Um, that's what keeps your blood sugar steady all night. Your liver is slowly releasing that glycogen. And most people really only have three or 400 calories worth of sugar stored in there. So now what you're doing is if you have that orange juice, you're adding, yeah, I haven't looked it up again, but maybe like, you know, six ounces of orange juice, probably 20 grams of carbohydrate, if that, maybe even 10 or 12. Um, so now you're looking at 40 to 80 grams of carbohydrate, or 80, 40 80 calories worth of carbohydrate, rather. And some of that's going to be fructose, which is going to get grabbed by the liver first anyway, before it even hits the blood. Um, so you're adding that little bit of sugar in there. So now you're taking the body and you're telling it, okay, we're going to have some sugar. That's where we're going to start using for energy. So the body gets excited, starts releasing insulin, brings that down. Well, now you're going to ask it to do some hard exercise where it requires energy and there's no more sugar coming down the pipe because that's it and it's a very small amount and a guy that size he's about 200 pounds and pretty fit um that realistically is going to last him between five and ten minutes of working out that amount of calories so after that he's running on empty fumes sugar wise and once your insulin goes up like that your body start stops or greatly reduces remember nothing in the body is a all or nothing it's a continuum um but greatly reduces the amount of fatty acids that are released in lipolysis because of the insulin that's coming out because all of a sudden it thinks it's going to start burning sugar. So now he has a great demand for energy on his body and his body's not releasing the fatty acids as fast as he needs. So and also pulling out more blood sugar because of the insulin so therefore that's where the body can end up in you know exercise induced hypoglycemia which is where you know you'll bonk, get the shakes, have trouble focusing, basically have a shitty workout and we don't want any of that to happen. That didn't happen to him. No, don't worry about that. Um, but instead, what you're going to want to do is the body is going to be primed to use pretty much amino acids, especially the branch chain amino acids at that point where you're so depleted. And you would want to give the body some of those amino acids to use. Now, this is where those fancy branch chain amino acid supplements come in that, you know, bodybuilding supplement companies tout as the most amazing things ever and they're usually not usually that's a bunch of shit because if you eat enough protein it's not a big deal in this case it actually would probably be pretty useful because they'll hit the bloodstream quicker than most like solid proteins will um, also even just a good whey protein or whey isolate protein would do a good job of getting into the blood and start pumping those amino acids into the system your insulin will go up a little bit but those will be used primarily for energy. This will create the muscle sparing effect that these companies tell you is always magical and going to happen. Uh, the other option that would work better would be to make use of short or medium chain triglycerides, short fatty acids that the body uses almost immediately for energy. So that could be coconut oil is full of MCTs, or also you could actually buy MCT oil in and of itself. Those two things would be probably the best possible early morning you know, coming straight out of a fasted workout, or coming straight out of being fasted into a workout, pre-workout energizer, and give you some fuel to work with. So, in the meantime, hit subscribe, click on the link down below, and we'll get some more information to you that will help maximize your performance. Later.